Well, I've been looking forward to this trip for a long time. Fishing Harvey Bay on the inside of Fraser Island, chasing little black marlin. This little creek's at Moon Point. If the tide's right, I often pull in here and rig up my boat, get the outriggers up, get the rods up. And then I just make my way up the inside of the island. As you can see, although we've got 20 knots still of uh, southeast, it's, it's calm when you run up the inside of the island. These bushfires were amazing to watch, quite a feature of this trip, and turned out to be not so good for the island. Well, it wasn't long before I saw some bust-ups. Looked like there was some uh, spotty mackerel in this, just by the big slashes they were creating on the surface. I do love fishing solo. The extra challenge of gaffing, filming, and everything else that goes with it. It's actually great fun, a great challenge. about match the hatch. You hate it when you're stuck between schools. Which to go for? Maybe the one. This one's definitely bigger up here. So it's pretty annoying wearing this, but you really need to when you're out solo. And this kill switch is even more annoying, but it's a good idea. So if I go over, it stops the boat. This life jacket's uh, got an e-perb on it is really important as well. If you ever do get separated from your boat, at least you got that. To be honest, I don't need much more food than that. Um, anything else I catch, I'm gonna let go. So I might have a little troll for uh, Marlin back into the quieter water up under the shallows where I can fill it this thing. Get it in the fridge. What a great start. <laughs> Gary Howard rod here, it's just magnificent. They're a bit heavier than normal for light tackle spin. I wanted something I could put a bit of grunt on a tuna and beat the sharks around here. Yeah, these birds are about to happen again. So not a bad little session for the first afternoon. But it was time to run down to, back down to Watumba Creek and just get my way in there. The tide was going to be getting down shortly, as was the sun. Always good to just familiarise yourself. There's often new logs that might have washed into the creek you don't want to hit. This was interesting. This is the, what I call the southern bank of the creek entrance, and it's completely changed with a new breakthrough right there. Getting up to 25 knots. These are rough. Is clear. As you can see from that forecast, I'll often take the worst weather day on the first day so that I get a couple of good days of weather after that. It's a great little spot with Toomba Creek and you can walk across and watch the sunset. Lovely way to end, end the day. So with the weather improving, today was all about chasing these world famous little black marlin that you catch in the shallows up along the flats along the northern end of the island, on the inside of the island, you know, as little as two metres of water. But I have to warn you, 
it can be hit and miss. I've had plenty of trips up here where I haven't seen any. I need to hear people catching them three days later. And although I'm a marlin fisherman through and through, like any fisherman, it's impossible to drive past busting schools of fish. So I had to have a crack at this boil up here. And I must admit, I did have a good feed of spotty mackerel last night. And given it was the first of a few days, I gave the rest of it away to a nice family camping nearby. So I was keen to catch another one just to uh, put in the fridge. And although there were spotties working in this school, there were also mac tuna. Unfortunately, I'd got the Mac tuna, which I normally let go, but I also thought I might keep this one if I'm going to do a bit of shark fishing. Use it for bait and burley. big as the other day but that's a nice fish. Yeah. I think these are Mac tuna unfortunately. We'll release them from now on. I only kept that first one for shark Oh big bull shark down here. That might be the next on the agenda. If we get this past the bullshit. shark just ate that thing. Time to catch one I think. I often have friends say why do I love catching sharks. I think it's uh well it's the challenge. I love catching big things and catching them solo is a great challenge. Fishing with uh, heavy tackle, this, this is an 80 pound outfit and using a harness and they're just big amazing creatures. So I enjoy it, but I know it's not for everyone. 
And I've got to say, it's relatively easy to, to actually catch them. If you're around busting boil-ups like you can see out the back there on the right, there's going to be sharks lurking. And this is shot in real time. So you can see it didn't take long to get a hook up. You'll also probably notice I'm breaking one of my golden rules. When I'm in my harness, I normally have a rope that clips onto the back of the harness, which is set at a length to stop me going over the back. I actually forgot to put that on. Uh, you'll also notice I haven't got my life jacket on, but when I'm stationary like this, it's not such an issue to wear it. So this is that big bull shark that ate that Mac tuna. Um, I'd put him at eight or nine foot, big solid fish. Anyway, I'll get him close and let him go. Is that one mackerel, such a good yield on those fish. So I really was heading off to go marlin fishing, but I think it's a case of the old one more cast syndrome kicking in here. This fish got sharked in the end, so it really was time to get my lures out and start trolling north. Basically, I was just trying to cover a lot of ground. That's why I was trolling with lures. Um, you know, there's a few different ways to catch these fish. A lot of those guide boats you see going past, they're just trolling straight daisy chain of uh, squid as a teaser and then they have fly anglers ready to cast their fly. Another option is to troll skipping garfish um, or troll just a teaser and then pitch a, a livey back at the, the fish when it appears. There's, there's all sorts of ways. I find lures just easier uh, when I'm on my own. Hard to store the bait and uh, I really probably should only be trolling with two lures, as you can see here. But it doesn't take long to clear when you get a strike. Um, I just love a big spread of lures, it's fun. I finally got one on, a little black. I was eating my teaser. Yeah, so as I said, it was eating my teaser. I run a daisy chain of squid. And I've got a little uh, tuna profile mud flap on the end of it, which it was trying to grab. I just have that all on a uh, TLD uh, reel that's on my uh, rocket launcher so I can wind it up while I'm still fighting a fish. Um, in this case, I wound it in and it, the fish switched over to the lure that was right next to it. So good. What a unique fishery. Little Rooney Point Black. Got another one on. <laughs> really small one, this one.
Hey guys, beautiful. <laughs> Unreal. This little, uh, this little, uh, I don't know, Black Betty or something color pattern of, of cool is doing all the damage today. It's two in a row. I've got it sitting just behind the uh, de uh, teaser there on the long corner. Anyway, try again. <laughs> Another hook out. I kid you not. <laughs> Can't film. So while I was dealing with this fish, I noticed this guy had got one as well. I went over and uh, yep, go, go. it turned out to be his boy's first little Give it marlin. A pat, young fella. So I said I'd get some Look good... up, look at me. That's it. I said I'd get some good shots for them. Well done. You've probably noticed the fire in the background at Rooney Point here. It was amazing and I thought it'll be a great opportunity to go in and have a good look at it up close, but it was still a fair way in. But just awesome to watch nature at work. All this burnt area here happened a few weeks prior and there were already green shoots coming through. Now you gotta be quick, but if you look top left screen there, you see that big black shape in the green water there. That's the biggest shark I've seen cruising through there in a long time. Anyway, after such an amazing day, it was time to head back to the creek, have a quick swim and just relax and enjoy what had been an amazing experience from tuna, mackerel, three marlin, big shark, just a great day. That's why I love it up here. So I don't normally fish in the creek, but this little shark was swimming around the back of the boat, so I just caught and released it for a bit of fun. Maybe be careful swimming there. Anyway, it was time to head home after a fantastic couple of days, and look at these conditions. But uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of, uh, I've got a boat maintenance business, so there's all those sort of videos on there, plus some other trips up the reef I do. Thanks a lot.